Hello everybody, I hope you all are doing great. Now, I know just about all of you know what bees are, especially the ones that make our honey. Most of us know the saying, as busy as a bee. Well, that is more true than a lot of us realize. I think the creatures upon this planet set an example for us of how to or how not to be. Honeybees are ones that I want to be like in my life. To try to always be doing something that can help others, whether it be friends or our community. Honeybees are amazing, and you may be wondering how to tell them apart as males and females. It's rather quite easy. The queen, as you well know, is a female, and so are all of the other bees. The only one that isn't is the drones. The drones are the only ones that mate with the queen, and no one else. Here is a drawing so you can see the three of them together for comparison. If the queen is no longer in the hive, the workers panic and lay many infertile eggs in their hive. They try to take on the role of the queen for the sake of their colony. But the queen bee is usually there, and she can lay 600 to 800 eggs a day, and even 1500 eggs in a day and they usually live for about three to four years they start as an egg hatch as a larva they stay like that for a few days until they are ready to go through the metamorphosis to become a bee the comb is then encapsulated until they are fully formed into the drone worker or queen they are meant to be the bee's wings go 11,000 to 400 times a minute, so they can hover and hence the buzzing sound they make. Did you know that honeybees can fly 15 miles per hour? That's fast for an insect. And they can fly anywhere from 3 to 5 miles away from their hive. They can get back to their hive easily because they have a compass built inside of them. Also, they are responsible for the pollination of 80% of the fruits, vegetables, and grains here in North America. Thankfully, they have a way of communication, which is what we would consider as dancing. That way they can tell the whole hive where the nectar is and so that they can go and retrieve as much nectar as they can to make our delicious honey and pollinate those plants. Another little thing that I think is actually fascinating is that they have five eyes, two on the sides and three on top of their head. Along with bees, many people, at least that I know, believe that all bees die after they sting someone or something because of the loss of their stinger. Well, that's not entirely true. The honeybee is the only bee that loses its stinger and dies afterwards. The reason is because the honeybee's stinger is barbed at the end. It hooks to your skin, and when they try to fly away, it rips out all the necessary organs for them to survive. But, on the bright side of things, they are the only insect that we know of that produces food for us as humans. It is not only a superfood, but it can sustain our lives. I hope you enjoyed my video, if so, please like and subscribe. I will be making more videos on honeybees. I'm looking forward to reading your comments and have a wonderful day.